What's up YouTube, my name is OTS Lee, and today I'm going to be talking about how Madden 24 is a make or break game for the franchise. And it briefly mentioned how Madden 23 was very frustrating for a lot of gamers, especially those in connected franchise. Before I get started, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell for future video alerts, future live stream alerts, and a lot of the short form content that I drop on YouTube shorts. Also comment down below what are some of your frustrations with Madden 23 and some ways that Madden 24 can be improved and some things you might like about the game. Madden users experience a major frustration when they suddenly lost their connected franchise save because of an update. EA heard a lot of backlash from this and lost a lot of players, those who were disappointed. A lot of people grind connected franchise. I don't personally play that a lot, but I know when you grind in something now and you put a lot of time and effort into it, it can be very frustrating to lose that. And I especially feel for those who are content creators who have a lot of their content based off these franchises. To lose that complete thing is just very frustrating. So what EA decided to do is offer a 50% discount for those players whose franchises were lost. They also will extend an invite to Madden 24's closed beta. Now I'm not sure how those players feel about that. If you have a connected franchise and you lost yours, let me know how you feel about EA offering a 50% discount and if you're excited to play the closed beta. But now I'm going to get into some of the major issues that I have with Madden 23 and some ways that I think that they can improve Madden 24. We'll start off with head-to-head -head online gameplay. I play head-to-head -head the most, especially last Madden. This Madden, I tried to play some Madden Ultimate Team. That mode is not for me, so I'm not going to get into that. Online head-to-head -head gameplay has a lot of room for improvement. For starters, ranked games should be played with all Madden difficulty. They should find a way to separate ranked and friendly games. There are players who prefer playing less competitive games versus random opponents, and they will be able to play in a friendly match on all pro difficulty where the gameplay isn't as hard as all Madden. Ranked games being played in all Madden would make gameplay much harder, potentially eliminating some of the more unrealistic plays from happening. Now, obviously, Madden is an unrealistic game. It's a simulation of the real-life football. But sometimes, and we all know, and we've all experienced it, some of these catches, interceptions, especially linebackers jumping up 10 feet to catch a pick over the middle. Plays like that sometimes make the game a little frustrating because, you know, like I said, I understand this is a video game. But come on, man. Some of these plays are just too much. Now, I do like that you can see who you play at the end of the game to see what rank they are. Like in last Madden, I played the number one player, at least at the moment. And it was exciting, you know, to play somebody who was that skilled and that good and had that many games and wins. But I think they should make some type of incentive for the game. Like maybe you have like a rank up system. You can earn certain cars. Like, you know, if you have head to head players who play Madden Ultimate Team, maybe they can get like special cars or they can find a way to make the game a little more interesting interesting maybe you can earn certain points or redeem certain awards getting a higher ranking and having a certain amount of wins and leveling up the second major issue that i have with the game and a way that i think they can help the game for madden 24 is feature meta patches in the update in this Madden 23 currently i feel like creativity and versatility and play calling and formations have become a lost art from my experience in the Ultimate Team and head-to-head -head gameplay, a ton of players have abused meta plays, cheese plays, and unstoppable plays. Now I understand if one play works, why not run it the whole time? And if a player can't stop it, why not continue to run it? I get the whole theory behind that, but I feel like sometimes players play the game, you know, to have fun, not to be playing somebody who has been playing one offense, one play the entire time. For I've seen players play over 500 games. Now imagine if they played half those games and ran that same play play all the time. In my opinion, that's not skill. Someone on Twitter told me that Madden doesn't require skill, and I don't necessarily agree with that. Now, what I will say is, you know, you can find certain plays that work all the time, and you can run them. A player like me, though, I like to run a bunch of different formations. I like to scheme up. Now, that comes with playing football and really understanding football from a different perspective. A player coming out with three receivers, I'll run like a nickel formation, or a player come out in a 21 personnel or 22 personnel, three tight end personnel, I might run a 3-4. 4-3 or even a 4-6. But again, I do understand that not all players play at that level. But just watching certain players in the Madden Championship Series, I see players run the same formation in Madden 23. And you start to see that scheme really trickle down into the normal regular gameplay. It's probably two, three formations or, you know, just a select few formations. Now, who I really blame for using these cheese plays and meta plays are those who are 
quote unquote pro players. Now I know a lot of people go look up on YouTube meta plays, cheese plays, and when they watch players in you know the Madden Championship Series, the Mutt Tournament, or even pro players or just other YouTubers, they all look for the one meta or cheese play that they can run all game and just abuse it. So that's why I say Madden can feature meta patches. Now I don't know exactly how they would do it. I'll use Call of Duty as an example of how Madden can use patches. Call of Duty patches everything from weapons to perks, etc. frequently. And that's because the game aims for versatility within gameplay, which also doesn't allow an overpowered or overused gun from diminishing fun for users. In Madden 23, plays featuring corner routes and crossing routes are super OP. And I've seen players run the same formation, the same play, maybe hit some audibles here and there, but usually it's like a crossing route or corner route. And that just doesn't make the game fun. I could sit here and try to run a cover two, three, four, or whatever it may be, or run man or blitz, but that's just boring. I feel like they could find a way if it's like a slider make catching outside routes harder or make throwing outside routes harder or making the defenders a little more alert like if I'm at cornerback and I see a receiver running out, you know, I might not beat them and get the interception, but make it a little more competitive where they can challenge the throw. And on the defensive end, blitzing is super overpowered. All while pass blocking is extremely weak. Now, I don't know if Madden needs a professional lineman or a former, you know, collegiate or professional lineman to go in and really explain to these Madden creators what pass blocking is. Now, I played up into the collegiate level and I was an offensive player or running back to be specific. So I really understand more of what pass blocking is. Is. You know, if I'm playing a game and you see like a nickel 3-3 three, three blitz or you see a five-man, six-man pressure, and you have six or seven people to protect and you identify, you know, the right mic and if you set a certain double team. Like, I get it, man. The blitz is nice, but just as a person who knows pass protection, you can block it. And the thing with Madden is they make the success rate for blitzing way too high. Let's say the blitzing in the first couple weeks or the first couple months was super OP and they heard a lot of people complain about it. Maybe turn it down a little bit or maybe make the o lineman a little more aware of pass protection. You know, balance it out. It's more like a 75-25 kind of thing. But to wrap it up, there's no surprise Madden 24 is a make or break game. The game has become very stale, like I mentioned earlier. A ton of players focus on running meta and cheese plays and formation. There are literally hundreds of plays in the game, but somehow a small percentage of them are used in Madden 23. Find a way to make Madden 24 a little more diverse. Make it to where well, I'm not seeing just a bunch of gum bunch. I think patch information and plays could be very useful to the next Madden. Blitz plays, like I mentioned earlier, for example, could be balanced by increasing pass block and success. Plays like Mike Blitz Zero and Nickel 33 Blitz are nearly impossible to block even if you leave a running back in or a tight end in. if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't hit that button yet you can also find my other gaming social media accounts in the description below i would love to hear what comments complaints or suggestions you have that can help madden 24 be a successful game